right guys, so we're going to learn today about citations and sources. A citation is basically information about a source. It tells your reader where you got your information. And there's two kinds. We have in-text citations. They are found in the body of the text. They are next to quotations and paraphrases. You must always cite your sources when you are using someone else's ideas or words. We have two kinds of citations. We have a signal phrase plus the page number. Uh, the page number goes in parentheses at the end. The signal phrase just basically says who you got it from. According to Booth, here's my quote or paraphrase, here's the page number. The other one is parentheses with just the last name and the page number. So if you're paraphrasing or quoting and you don't use a signal phrase, we need the last name and the page number in parentheses at the end with the period outside. Now your in-text citations refer to your works cited page. Your works cited page is a list of all of your sources that you cited in the text. Um, it's different than a bibliography and it's not going to list everything that you've read. It's only going to list the sources that you've used in-text citations for in the body. Um, in-text citations always match your work cited. For example, if I was using Booth here, in my work cited under the B's, my reader should be able to find Booth and they'll be able to find the book, the article, the information that they need, the publisher, all that stuff in the works cited page. It is complete information, everything that you need to know, everything the reader needs to know. It's alphabetical by last name, so anything that, any author that starts with an A would come before Booth. And it's found at the end of the document. So once you're done writing, you're going to go to the next page and that's where you'll find the works cited page. Alright, so what information do you need in your citations? All right, so information for citations is basically everything about the source. The primary, but this is not a complete list, is we need to know who the source was, the author. We need to know where you found it. So if it's a book, we need to know the book name. If it's an article, we need to know the article and the journal you found it in. It also includes page numbers. So if you are looking at a book in an article and it's page 500 to 520, the work cited will list 500 to 520 Whereas your in-text citation will say this particular quota information is found on 525 or 514, I'm sorry. Um, we also need to know the publisher and the date of publication. This is a year usually. Um, when it's journal articles, it can also be a, a, a season or a quarter, things like that. And um, As you use more sources, we'll talk more about that. Um, you're only using sources for essay three. All right, so this information can generally be found on the first or second page of your books, of your journal articles. Um, generally, it's near the title or cover page if you're reading a book. So there are two main styles of citations. We have MLA, which is for humanities, such as English courses, and APA, which is primarily for the sciences. There are others. There's Turabian, there's Chicago, there's Boston. Um, ask your instructor for the particular assignment what citation style they want, and then stick to that for the entire document. Don't switch between MLA and APA within a document. We need to know what you're using based on your in-text citations and the format of your works cited page. All right, so that's how you cite your source, but how do you know what sources need to be cited? This is where we get into issues of common knowledge. All right, so common knowledge basically says things that people know. There's two kinds. There's facts and there's opinions. Common knowledge facts do not have to be cited. For example, if we say Trump won the 2016 election, we don't need to cite a source to know this. With this is common knowledge, it's a fact. There are sources that back this up, but not necessarily needed to be cited in your document. Now, if you have an opinion um, that's common knowledge, such as American voters do not like Trump as president, um, we see this in the news a lot, a lot of people don't like Trump, um, a lot of people do like Trump, and if you were to voice either opinion, we'd need to know where you were getting this from. 
You would usually find things like this in surveys, polls, etc., those sorts of things. But any opinion that you state that might be considered common knowledge has to be cited. We need to know where you are getting that opinion from. All right, so these are the, this is the information you need about sources. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask me in class. Um, and there's also more information on Blackboard regarding all of this. All right, guys. Enjoy.